Hello, Rufus. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I'm happy to see you, too. I want you to repair this junk press for Doc's mobile office. (laughs) Oh, right. Mobile office. Sure. Look, don't try to put one over on me, Tony. I know exactly what's going on. This isn't a junk press, and it's not even a tutorial. No, it's simply a recurring nightmare. And the fact that you're here is the ultimate proof. Do you really think this is fun for me? I mean, who needs a tutorial for a point-and-click adventure? (laughs) Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just get this over with, all right? I shouldn't even be here. I'm supposed to be with the Resistance in Portofisco battling the Organon. Instead, I'm explaining how to use a mouse to my dumbass ex-boyfriend. Oh, excuse me. You think you need to explain something to me? All right, all right. Which of us has already had to slog through all this garbage twice? Hey, I know this tutorial inside out. To start with, I have to talk to you. Oh, great. Starting right off with the worst bit. Yeah. And to do that, I use, uh... uh... The, um, the mouse, perhaps? I know that. Since when do I need you to help me? Then what are you waiting for? Just point at me with the cursor and left-click as soon as you see the speech bubble icon. Hey! No prompting! Talk to Tony. You don't have to say it out loud. Hey, I'm not talking to you. You are! You clicked on me! Yeah, and I regret it already. At any rate, there's nothing else here you can teach me. You don't even know how to... Uh, t- um, hmm. How to talk to someone. Like, just now, perhaps? Or did you not left-click when the speech bubble appeared on the cursor? Speech bubble? Are you sure it wasn't the extremely attractive Rufus's head icon? No, the speech bubble. Fortunately, your stupid face only shows up now and then, and just in the inventory, to put on clothes or whatever else it is that you do. Which happens much too rarely, I think. Far more common is the question... How to look at an object? Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah? So how? You point it up with your mouse pointer and right-click when you see the eye icon. Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh. You mean left. No, I mean right, where the eye icon is. Oh, so that's the right that everybody's always talking about. You know, I always just called it left, too. It's a lot easier to remember. But if you say so, then I'll try your oh-so-wonderful right on this thing that's lying on the ground by pointing at it with the cursor and right-clicking as soon as the eye icon appears. Ah, there. Please, don't overextend yourself. What is it? That is an interference converter. Oh, yeah. First time round, it was the cathode plunger. Then it was the reactor thing head. Can't you guys just be consistent? Mm, Whatever. Call it what you want. You just need it to repair the press. And how, pray tell, am I supposed to do that when I can't even pick it up? Mm, You can pick it up. Just point it up with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click. Nah, there must be an easier way. Oops. Where did it go? Didn't you say you know what you're doing? When you pick something up, it lands in your inventory. To open it, all you have to do is turn the mouse wheel. Hey, there it is! Exactly! Now this is your inventory. Yeah, obviously. And here you can see all the stuff you're carrying around with you. You remember how to do that, don't you? Hey, look, Tony. I fixed the part. I'll believe that when I see it in use. (laughs) Yeah, you will. My tinkering skills are unbelievable. (laughs) Hey, look, Tony. I fixed... I'll believe that. (laughs) Yeah, you... (laughs) It fits. The next thing you have to do is... Hey, hey, you don't have to hold my hand all the way through this. I can manage the rest on my own. If you say so. When you're ready, you have to... 
No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. It's just a button. I can manage this without you. Hmm. Hey, Tony. What is it now? What would you say if this time I left the honor of pushing the button to you? Fine. I had a bet with Doc that you couldn't do this. What? But I did do it. The press works. Here, I'll show you. <sighs> now I owe Doc five zlotties, but it was worth it. My fellow Elysium, I know how much you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Deponia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all clear on the return from the ruins of Porta Fisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now. So this is the third strike, you're dumping me just like a trash bag. Why? Just because of some must. Tart on the carpet, you pathetic dog head. I assume that your humor did just bite the dust. But this isn't over yet. Here you can bet on that. The last part of my day will surely appease and change your mind anyhow. So turn on your deaf aid now. The story goes on for good things come in threes. The saga things come in threes. Ladies, Stop! The fire extinguisher! I'll wake Bozo and get the mine detector! Take it easy! I'm just making breakfast here! Fried sludge with honey! Oh, not again! The allergy medication is in the cupboard with a bear trap! Nonsense! The sludge is just the bait! I am fishing! At this very moment, I'm using the diving crane to catch something big! Oh, goodness! Uh, no problem. Let me think. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough bandages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I hatched a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp for the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Rufus! What? You steered us onto an Organon cruiser route. Yeah, and it'll take us directly to the Upper Ascension Station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board, together with gold. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crane. I've got a bite. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. Oh, 
seems a little flustered. Now I almost wish I hadn't fed his pills to the baby seal. Two lights are blinking on the radar screen. A small green one in the middle, and a big red one behind it. It can only mean one thing. We're out of confetti! Definitely a feast for the eyes. We should dig in before they do. Aw, he's sleeping like a baby. A big dangerous pirate baby. It's time to tell him everything later. Once I find out who's responsible for this mess. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yeah, but I only looked. It wasn't me who burnt it. Hey, Doc. Uh, how's it going? Rufus, the cutter is breaking apart. You've got to do something. And I certainly don't mean chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else? Is <sighs> oh, crap. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cutter. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. <laughs> it's his own fault. <laughs> what a large bag. Uh-oh. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Visco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiancée. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiancée. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar! <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um... Oh, uh, you know, a uh, visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool. Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Oppenbot, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Is there a better way of saying the Organon or what I eat for breakfast? Maybe, but that one is pretty darn cool. Phew! Go! Go! Hang on, I'm coming! And... Hi! The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. Go! What the heck are you doing? I'm trying to free the cable. Please! Get off there! It's dangerous! And here I was thinking you don't even know that word. Sure I do. Danger is my middle name. Actually, I meant please. But if you want to help, the crane is awfully wobbly. You need to tighten the screws. Oh, all right. No problem. The crane might... I need to do... Rufus, the screws! I'm on it.
The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Eh, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Hey! Oops. Any progress? Well, uh, yeah, there is some, uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh-oh. Oh, ah! um, what have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. No, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I gotcha. Well, who have we here? 